Here's a video of our new web audio player plugin. Uh, it's not actually a brand new plugin. It's been around for a few months, but uh, we had some issues we wanted to work out of it before we do a demo and now they're working. And so now I'm showing it to you. So this is a, um, it's meant to be a general audio player. Uh, it plays audio from pretty much, let's say 90% of the audio sources on the internet. The ones that don't work are um, video. Doesn't It doesn't work with YouTube or Vimeo or anything like that. Uh, and it doesn't work with certain audio sources where they're creating the audio as opposed to streaming it from a file. So um, we could say in general that if your audio source is uh, an audio file or um, an internet radio stream, not an SDR stream, we have another app for that called WebSDR, but an internet, standard internet radio stream, this should work. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is a new feature that we just added. If you go into the main app, there's this little link at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on your screen. Let me move my screen so make sure you can. It says tap here to update favorite sites. And I'm going to update the sites. And it's successful. It says it's added 10 sites. And when we go back in here and look in favorites, you can see there's a list now of these. Uh, these are sites that aggregate um, web radio streams, um, different audio sources on the internet. Uh, so, for example, we've got... Uh, Bandcamp and SoundCloud. I'm not going to demonstrate those because they're, well, let's demonstrate SoundCloud just for fun. Um, it works pretty much like you'd expect it to. Um, you play anything you want on SoundCloud. And uh, it's not using the standard SoundCloud player, as you can see. And the reason it's not using that player is because we need to, to do, we needed to hack our own player in there so that we can get the audio out and send it to the audio unit host. Um, unlike some of our other plugins that do um, uh, hack audio out of web sources, you can close this one, and usually it keeps playing in the background even if it's closed, which is nice, and I hope that will please many of you. Um, so you can pause it. Always you're using the player controls down here, our player controls, not the built-in website player controls. Because basically what this app does is it finds the file or the stream that is being played by the website and it hijacks it and sends it to its, its own uh, internal player. Um, so that's how it works. Uh, but now we have this, this new feature where you can add um, your own list of sites. One of the things that's nice about this is there's there are some other plugins that play internet radio streams, but we've seen some conversations on the forums where it's clearly not very easy for people to listen to those streams. Whereas with this one, um, you can play it really easily. Uh, you just get in and, and uh, play it the same way you would if you were on a website. There it is, it's playing. You don't have to, um, you know, you don't have to try to hack in and find the URL and copy it out. This this plugin will take care of that for you. Um, let's see, what else do we have that we can look at? World Radio Map, this one's kind of cool. Um, waiting for it. Let's see that map. This isn't what I thought it was. There's that one with the... Um, Listen to the radio in Afghanistan. Uh, there's that one that um, that has a globe, a 3D globe. I thought that was this one. Well, this is nice anyway, um, but that's not what I was thinking of. What do we have? Global streaming? Let's try that. No, not that. Internetradio.com? We already looked at that. I'm disappointed with myself. Radio stream. Oh, this one, yeah. Um, well, this is a, not what I was looking for, but 
it's another radio service. Um, I'll pause that. Um, so uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I, oh, I didn't develop this app personally. Full disclosure: I have a team of four people, and this was developed by uh, one of the other members of our team. And I know he asked me to show you something, and I'm not remembering it right now. Um, oh yeah, that's right. He wanted me to show you that when you're listening to these streams, I'm gonna turn the volume down. Uh, this does something that you don't normally get on streaming radio, and that is it, it saves the audio. So like if you're listening to the radio and you hear something good and you, you're like, oh yeah, I like that, I wanna hear that again, you can back up and you can, you can hear what's going on. If you watch the clock down here, you will, um, can you see the clock on your screen? Push, push that up. Uh, you can kind of see, I can zoom in on that clock for you. There you go. There's the clock. Um, if you watch this clock, you can kind of see what's going on is um, this number on the bottom is the total length of all the audio that's currently buffered in, in this player. And the number on the top is the current position of the, the cursor. And so you'll see that every like 10 seconds or so, it'll load another 10 seconds of audio into the buffer, but it doesn't flush out the old audio, at least not right away. So you can see, yeah, you can see there just now it added another 10 seconds. And every time it adds another 10 seconds, the scroll, the uh, position of this thing jumps back because there's more stuff ahead of it. Let me play it again. Are we still playing? Right. So you can see it's almost to the end. Two minutes, 25 seconds, and then it jumps back. This little button jumps back because it loads another section. Um, so that's, that's, I think, I hope that will be useful to you, you uh, people who would like to um, listen to internet radio, that you can now go back if you want to hear something again. Um, and that's pretty much all that I have to say about um, Web Audio Player for the moment. This is on the App Store. Uh, it's already there. You can go in and uh, buy it if you're interested in it. Um, and if you like seeing uh, these kind of videos, hit that subscribe button. If you just want to be nice and help us out, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.